All right, that was interesting. Hi guys, my name is Joe and welcome to Fighting Words, the martial arts library. On this channel I review martial arts books and talk about other martial arts related topics. So this is a segment I like to call Media Fight Mondays. So I take a fight scene from movies, television, animation, and so on, and I break down the action and then give it a grade based on realism and storytelling value. So today we are looking at a fight scene from the movie Bad Day at Black Rock from 1955. The setup to this is that Spencer Tracy's character McCready has come to town looking for uh, a fellow by the name of Komoko and the locals have not taken kindly to that. They're trying to push him out of town and uh, the character of Trimble played by Ernest Borgnine, is being very antagonistic to him uh, while he's at a diner. You know, he's you know pouring hot sauce in his soup and saying, you know, no, nah, I want to sit in the stool you're sitting on. Treaty, the war veteran, tries to leave. You will note that he only has one arm. Now, because Spencer Tracy was getting on in years, he preferred to not be in this fight scene they actually have a stunt driver, Carrie Lofton, who's playing his role in this. And there's also an uncredited judo instructor, John Indrasano. I can find a lot about him as a boxer, but not a whole lot as far as a judo background goes. In addition, IMDb points out that the fighting techniques used in here are actually from karate. He's going to use a lot of chops. <laughs> so anyway, let's see the fight scene. The one-armed man versus the small-town bully. All right, so the bully has put hands on him first. Takes a chop pretty much across the throat. Just leaving him winded. Bully comes back with a punch. All right, so that looked like maybe a, a thrust to the abdomen, followed by a chop to the back of the neck and a knee to the face. Swing and a miss, and a chop to the neck and the kidneys. Bully's coming back for more. Don't know why. Takes another swing. All right, that was interesting. So he grabs the wrist and like kicks the far leg away as he's pulling him over. So if we're going to grade this on realism. Okay, chop to the throat, pretty realistic. The use of the edge of the hand as a primary striking surface, I'm not saying that it cannot hurt or wound, it definitely can, but I think for movies around this time, it sort of got overused a bit. I think it would have been realistic for someone around this time who had been trained in martial arts to rely more on that than maybe their fists. I think some of the effects were exaggerated, and that last throw, that, that was dude taking a fall. I mean, if you're going to go head over heels like that, um, and also, again, catching a punch out of midair, when I see it done for real, I will stop taking marks off for that. Maybe a solid B. Nothing that they were doing here was fantastic or extraordinary. Knee to the face, chop to the throat. I, I'm on board with those things being effective. So again, I think the effects of, you know, chop to the kidneys, like, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> More realistic than not. Uh, as far as storytelling goes, we do see Ernest Borgnine's character getting more and more weathered as the fight goes on. I think it's an interesting choice to have Spencer Tracy's character of McCready only having the use of one arm. His left arm is injured. Blows are going to be coming in from the left side. So we see him mostly ducking those. 
So I think we do get a, a, at least a little bit of character development when it comes to that, you know, in his choice of what techniques to use. Again, I'm going to give this one a solid B. You know, we, we do see a progression of, you know, one character being on the receiving end of more and more damage, more and more wear and tear. And of the character who, you know, we see the most offense out of, I think it is telling about his character in his choice of offense and his choice of defenses. So, I know that was a bit of a short clip, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, you see a lot of these, like, you know, World War II type of fights. You know, like the classic jiu-jitsu, you know, or World War II combative stuff in movies from this era. I kind of appreciate the flavor of it. Anyway, that's all I have for this week. Uh, it would really help the channel, if you would like, if you would donate through my coffee account, or if you have a suggestion for a fight scene for me to do, again, please consider donating to my coffee account. That'll get my attention. And I appreciate you watching this with me, and please let me know your thoughts on the fight scene. And, again, it would help out the channel if you do the YouTube stuff, you know, like, share, subscribe. And thank you again, I'll see you later.